Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we'll be going over where to find the 12 Vietnam lighters in Far Cry 5. Getting all these will get you access to this shed. Let's get started. After you talk to the guy, head to any weapon shop, go to the item store, and at the bottom you can actually buy the map. I already have, so you won't see it in mine, but it is at the bottom of the list. First one can be found here on the map. This is northeast of the Lamb of God Church. There it is, a bigger map. North of Falls End a bit. Once you get there, open up the hatch, drop down. Uh, we'd already grabbed the lighter, but it is here. There's also a skill book. Most of them have a skill book, but not all of them. So make sure you grab that. And then the lighter is actually on the shelf in the other room right here. Second lighter is here. This is a little southeast of Falls End, near Oravel Creek. Once you get to the location, open up the hatch, go down, grab the lighter, grab the skill book, grab anything else you want, and then get back in your chopper. Lighter number three is actually northeast of the one you just got, real close. There are a few enemies at this one, so expect a little bit of a fight, but it's not too bad. Head into the shed, watch out for that bee's nest, I actually just noticed that. Drop down the hatch, grab anything you want, but make sure you get the lighter, and I'm pretty sure there's a skill book in this one. Lighter number four is actually right below Ray Ray's pumpkin farm. Real easy. Clear out the enemies, head to the hatch, get what you want. Just be sure to grab the lighter. Letter number five is to the northeast of Ray Ray's pumpkin farm, across the river. Now this one is slightly different, but not really. The hatch is already open, someone has already been here, but the lighter is still inside. So just grab the lighter. Number six can be found up by Claggett Bay and Widow's Creek. Up on the mountain there, or a hill, really. Clear out the enemies, open the hatch, grab your stuff, get back in your chopper. By now you should know how this goes. Number seven is actually northwest, very slightly northwest, of the one you just got. This one isn't actually in a hatch. This one is inside this building right up here. Lighter number eight is pretty far north. It is to the west of Cedar Lake. Just be ready when you land. I didn't know there were snakes in the game, and the snake scared me. Deal with the snake, go down the hatch, grab your lighter. That's it. Number nine is to the south of the Fang Center. Pretty close, actually, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. 
This is the only one that's actually a challenge, and it's not that much of a challenge. It's locked. You break the lock, you go down, and then it's locked with a keypad, so you have to get the key card. To get the key card, you have to enter the house that is on the outside of the bunker. It's pretty simple. Um, a wave of enemies will come at you. But anyways, just follow the video. You'll have no trouble. Lighter number 10 is to the west of Peach's taxidermy. Again, another easy one to find. The hatch for this one is a little hidden. It's underneath these tarps here. Don't worry about the crazy woman. Just caught me off guard is all. Head down, grab the lighter. The 11th lighter is to the south of Angel's Peak, south of that big statue. Head up to the area with the buildings and you will find the hatch behind the cabin. Jump down, grab the stuff, I'm sure you get it by now. The 12th and final lighter is to the east of the Hope County Jail. Land, head into the hatch, grab your stuff, return to the old dude, and you're done with this mission. Congratulations. Anyways, if you liked what you saw, got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.